Hey there, I'm Mariana and welcome to Creation Odyssey. So today I bring you Emily from Good Smile Company. She is a Nendoroid doll. She is the first, she is part of the first set of Nendoroid dolls that came out for Good Smile Company. Now they did come out last year with the Archetype doll, which is just like the doll body that you could uh, use to put uh, Nendoroid heads on. This was uh, more of an, the company's answer to people doing modifications and using the Opitzel 11 doll bodies or the uh, Cuposh Friend doll bodies to put Nendoroid heads on themselves. So, um, Emily here is part of the first set of Nendoroid dolls. So there's Emily and then there's a boy doll, Rio. They're the first full dolls with body and everything to come out from Good Smile Company. I didn't get Rio. I, I, at the point in time, I was just like, why would I get another boy doll? I don't really have a lot of boy dolls. Now I want Rio. <laughs> so I would probably get him uh, later on. But let's go ahead and take a look at Emily and see how she compares to the Nendoroid and the Q-Posh. Alright, so our box is open. We've got the traditional little slip of like what comes with it, how to take apart the Nendoroid, all that good stuff. And then here's our Emily doll. So I didn't realize this when I bought her, and I don't know if anybody else didn't realize this, but there's definitely something missing here that you typically get with a traditional Nendoroid, and that is the extra face plates. So I wasn't sure just because maybe this was like, you know, a special doll or anything. So I actually pre-ordered the Alice in Wonderland doll, the Rabbit, Red Queen, and Mad Hatter dolls. And when I looked through pictures, none of them seemed to come with extra face plates. Now this was also an issue that I felt was with the Cuposh Cinderella doll that I got. She also didn't come with any extra face plates. And also none of the Cuposh friends come with extra face plates either. So I'm assuming that because, you know, they're giving you real clothes that they're taking away the extra face plates. Uh, Kota did come out with extra face plates for the Anne and Sherry dolls, I do believe. I'm not sure if Belle got her own extra face plates and I don't think the two boys uh, got extra face plates either. So hopefully, um, Good Smile Company comes out with extra face plates for Emily and Rio at some point in time. I know that the whole point of the Nendoroid doll is more or less so you can like make your uh, current Nendoroids more articulated, but extra face plates would have been nice for me personally. Um, I think that's part of the like reason most people like collect Nendoroids, other than you know they're fans of like the animes or. Um, games, whatever they seem to come from. So I thought that was a huge letdown. Um, if you paid attention to what was going on in WandFest, there are no new Nendoroid dolls coming out as far as uh, WandFest goes. I'm not sure if they're going to be coming out with any more later, but for me personally, after buying these uh, five, I will not purchase any more Nendoroid dolls if they're not going to come with the extra face plates because that's part of the fun of having a Nendoroid is you get to like change their facial expressions and all that good stuff. There are plenty of people out there that, you know, do mods and everything like that. And so if you can do a perfect, you know, mod of a Nendoroid face plate and make it look exactly like the Emily doll but give her different facial expressions, then, you know, that's really great too. There are also uh, extra face plates out there. They come out with them every once in a while, so you could do those funny faces and everything, but not having face plates with that specific doll is actually, it's kind of a bummer. Anyway, let's take a closer look at Emily and get her out of all this packaging. So here's the Emily doll out of her box. I think she's super cute. I do really like her. Um, you know, I hate to say it again, but I am disappointed that there aren't any extra face plates, uh, especially because she's got these different like hand units. So it would have been really cute to have like a little like squinty eyed with like her tongue out or something fun. Um, you can always get, you know, a Nendoroid face plate from an old uh, Nendoroid and wipe it off and try to do your own modifications if you're really into that. Um, 
but that's like a certain, certain people do it and certain people are like, no, nendoroids are sacred. So it is uh, primarily up to you and what you're into. Uh, as far as, she, like I said, she's really cute. Her bow though, I think matches her hair a little too much. I know Good Smile's like, uh, logo is orange and everything, that's what they were going for, but that's, <laughs> it's a little funny. Um, and while I think her outfit is cute, I'm not a huge fan of the outfit. I think it's a little plain. I get that this was just supposed to be like an introductory doll and everything, but I feel like they could have done something a little cuter. Um, maybe like a fun like orange dress or a white dress with orange polka dots or something a little more lively than, um, I don't know what I feel like is just, it's just a school uniform basically. Uh, so I wish they had done something a little, little more for, you know, something that's supposed to be, I, I guess, monumental in a, for a lack of better words, uh, for the Good Smile Company. Um, she comes with two different sets of hands. She has little peace signs and then she's got fist. Let's see. True test. Let's get her shoes on. Okay, shoes were easy to put on. It's always a plus. So there you are. There's the Emily doll. Let's stand her up and see how well she stands. Oh, sorry. You do, she does, um, unlike Nendoroids, she does have, oh, wow. So unlike uh, traditional Nendoroids, she does have magnets on her shoes, but also at the bottom of her feet. Her stand is magnet as well, so that's something you can expect. I do believe all the Nendoroid dolls come magnetic. Let's see if she can stand on her own. All right. All right, so there's Emily standing on her own. Uh, you do have the option of using uh, the holders like you do with traditional Nendoroids. This is more for like, you know, crazy poses and things like that. I feel like when it comes to these dolls, since the magnets are so strong, they can stand on their own. Or if you're displaying them in a case or anything like that and you don't want them to like constantly fall over, you know, from movement in a room. Now let's go ahead and compare the Emily doll to my Cinderella Cuposh doll. So real quickly, I just wanted to compare the uh, Cuposh doll to the Nendoroid doll. Now the Cuposh doll is obviously shorter than the Nendoroid doll here. Um, main differences is body type. Uh, the Cuposh doll is made with a ball jointed uh, system and the Nendoroid doll has ball joints in her shoulders here, but throughout the rest of her body, it's uh, what's called a hinge pin um, joint. Um, so very uh, old school dolls. I do believe, um, I forget what dolls used to be hinge pin. I feel like Barbies were hinge pin at some point in time or had like a hinge pin unit to them. Um, so a little less articulated than, so the Nendoroid doll ends up being a little less, uh, articulated, I guess you could say, compared to a Cuposh doll. So if you were doing something like, say, stop motion, um, you would probably want to go with a Cuposh doll body or an Obitsu, uh, doll body and modify it to fit a Nendoroid doll head. That being because you're gonna get a lot more smooth movement with a ball jointed system. Um, I mean, try to show you without knocking this over here. I mean, like, to get her to come, you gotta like move her arm like this and, you know, get her like that. Uh, where if you do the Cuposh doll, it's very, it's a lot easier. It's a lot, it's, it's smoother because they've got the, the ball hinge unit um, to articulate them. Another thing that I found um, different is the Nendoroid doll here moves 
at the bottom, like at your waist, but nobody really moves like that. I mean, you do, but you gotta move, like you move your hips, you move all of it, um, but you can't, you know, really twist like your waist. Where the uh, Q Posh doll body, you can twist her waist um, back and forth. So I think that also calls for a little more fluidity as far as movement and poses go. Comparing the bodies, I love Good Smile Commando with Nendoroids. Um, as far as as far as if you're doing modifications or if you want a more poseable doll, I think it's all of a preference. I actually did order uh, quite a few of the Nendoroid doll bodies for my Nendoroids and for future Nendoroids that I have coming in this year from pre-orders because I, I mean, I don't want to go through all the hassle of like having to modify a uh, Kuposh doll body and a uh, or a Obitsu doll body. I'm not really that big into doing like those kind of modifications yet. I just kind of want to enjoy taking pictures of my dolls and I want to make clothes for them. So that's what I'm into. Um, if you're, like I said, more into stop motion or you're wanting to do really action poses with the dolls or anything like that, um, you'll probably want to go with something that's a little easier to work with, a little more articulated, uh, depending on you know what you're into. So I think it just boils down to personal preference. Would I prefer for the Nendoroid doll body to be a little more articulated like the Kubosh doll? Yes but that's not going to necessarily happen. Um, so let's uh, put a put Emily's clothes back on and let's uh, see how it is to switch her head out. Now that Emily's all dressed, let's go ahead and switch out her head. I have um, my Asuna Ordinal Scale head. I picked her because like they have like similar, similar coloring and everything. For those of you who have not bought the Nendoroid doll yet, just to let you know, peach is the uh, more common color of Nendoroids. A lot of people are uh, trying to say that it's cream um, because when you look at the dolls on the screen, they look kind of pinkish, uh, but it's not. Cream is going to be more of a pale color like uh, Loti from Little Witch Ac Academia or even Diana from Little... Uh, which Academia, those two dolls um, are more of a cream color. So you want to make sure if you're buying any of the doll bodies, you get peach, uh, if that's what you're looking for. So as far as removing her head, let's see. Okay, that was fairly simple. And then I need to take the pin out of my Asana doll. Uh, that's not coming out. Or maybe the pin should come out of here. There we go. And then just put my awesome doll in there. And voila! So that was quick, easy, simple. Uh, for anybody who is either tired of having them modify dolls to fit certain body, uh, Nendoroid heads to fit certain doll bodies, or you just don't want to get into that, uh, I think this is a really great option for you. Um, like I said, they're not as articulated as, say, the ball jointed uh, dolls, but you can still do cute poses with them and stuff, and I'm sure as time goes by, you know, Good Smile will come up with newer versions of the doll body that are a little more articulated. This is just the first run. So that's it for my review on the Emily doll. Like I said earlier, I think she's a super cute doll. I really like her. I do, however, wish her outfit was a little cuter. Um, I feel like the outfit's very plain. Should have been something just, I don't know, something more. Anyway, I digress. Uh, as far as the body goes, is it as good as, say, an Obitsu 11 or a Kubosh doll body, in my own honest opinion, I think it's more of a personal preference. Uh, the other doll bodies are ball jointed, so that does make them easier to move around and they're more articulated. So if you're doing like 
I said earlier, uh, stop motion or you're doing any like crazy poses or anything like that, you'll want to stick to those bodies. But if you're wanting just to be able to make clothes for your Nendoroi doll, your, your Nendoroi doll and you're doing like, you know, you're just wanting to be able to pose the doll, then this is uh, perfect for you. It's perfect for me for now. I'm very excited to start making clothes for her and come up with some cute outfits and things and maybe even build her a little room box of some sort. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe and tune in on Friday. Till next time.